What is up, YouTube? It's Piro here, and we have a Call of Duty Year by Year episode. And this episode is with the Scar. Now, not the Scar L, the Scar H, both. Look, come on. They're both the same, aren't they? Like, seriously. Scar H, Scar L, they look, they look exactly the same, I think. The difference is the Scar H is, like, for Scar Heavy or, like, I don't know, higher damage. And the Scar L is, like, Scar Light. I guess because, I don't know, I don't know how far right. Well, it is true because the Scar H's in the games were high damage assault rifles and in yeah, Modern Warfare 3, which was a Scar L, it was more of a high fire rate, low damage assault rifle. So, you know, H, L, you get the drift. But anyway, the Scar H <laughs> was in MW2 and Black Ops 2 and the Scar L was in Modern Warfare 3. Now, let's start with Modern Warfare 2. Now this baby in Modern Warfare 2 was very, very, very popular as it was unlocked uh, relatively early and it was, it was basically the, it was that assault rifle you used until you unlocked the ACR. That's the way I saw it, that is exactly what I did and really it goes the same for the MW3 but we'll talk about that in a moment and this MW2, yeah, it's quite strong, it unlocked it, it was very good for, you could use it for a whole prestige if you really wanted to in MW2, it went alright. Goes good with the extended mags, that's the only really good attachment I like. If you, you know, you could use noob tube if you want, piss some people off, but that's your choice. And really, perks, using the assault rifle M dub 2, you want your stopping power. Your first perk, probably scavenger. Scavenger goes well with that because the reload is pretty quick. You can reload, click, you can reload cancel very well with this gun, but not on Black Ops 2. The Black Ops 2 reload cancel not work. I don't know why, but you know. So, in your third perk, always, you know, personal preference on MW2, I don't really know how to use attachments, chuck on extender mags, yeah, red dot goes alright on that game, I don't mind it one little bit, but yeah, all in all, Sky H MW2 wasn't too shabby at all, I don't really have much to say, I didn't really have that much experience of it, I know when I first played MW2, that was my go-to gun to use until, you know, oh my god, the intervention sniper trick shot, quick go bro, but yeah. That was my try-hard class, my Scar H, and then of course you got UMP, because, you know, that gun wasn't overpowered or anything. <laughs> but, you know, let's move on to Modern Warfare 3, which was called the Scar L. Now, as I said before, Scar L, it wasn't, it wasn't a very high damage assault rifle, it was more of the high fire rate, and it killed him relatively quickly, I don't know. I really didn't like it that much. It didn't seem to kill quick enough for me, especially with the suppressor. Suppressor really did take a long, long, long time to kill. I don't know if it was just me, my connection on that game. I don't know, but I don't know that's you. That's my opinion. I don't know. I don't know what you guys reckon, but it was it was a half decent gun without suppressor. It was very nice, but it did need kick and red dot or kick. Kick and extended mags. Extended ma kick and extended mags. Are nice in the gameplay you're seeing. I don't have. It unlocked because you know I prestige the silly me, but you know I didn't mind it without suppressor. I used it yeah, a fair bit, but you know, <laughs> once you got the ACR, <laughs> Scar H, fuck off, you don't, <laughs> you don't need it unless you got your ACR gold. You need something else to use. Well, yeah, then you go to it. Really, in every way, it's dominated by the ACR in M Dub Two as well. It's just, it's it's, it's ACR is more of a laser than the Scar H. Not that the Scar H has got much recoil, but the ACR ACR is just better, more reliable, but. From close range, you can rely on the Scar H a little bit more. I don't know. See what you reckon, but anyway, if your attachments, I'll say again, kick and extender mags or kick and red dot perks. Scavenger, again, scavenger always works well because the reload is not that slow. You can reload cancel well on MW3 as well. You probably see that in the gameplay because I am using scavenger and perk 2. Quick draw. Quick draw on these assault rifles is better nice. I like a lot. And stalker, even though stalker is a bit of a bitch perk, I really don't like getting killed by someone who's a stalker because they just strafe around there they just strafe around whatever they're behind like a, a wall or something and it does fuck you over a fair bit especially with the LMGs but you know that's a story to tell for another day so let's move on to Black Ops 2 now the gameplay you can see is one of my gameplays I put on YouTube so quality is not the best because I de re-downloaded it but the link will be in the description and an annotation might be on the screen if I remember or not and that gameplay I beasted, so you'll see, you'll probably see me beast right now in the gameplay. So I thought I might put it up stuff, and also on my 
account on PlayStation. I don't have it unlocked. So that's ba another reason why. So the Scar H in... Yeah, Scar H, by the way, not Scale. The Scar H on Black Ops 2. I, I did not mind it at all. It was not very popular. Because, I don't know, people prefer the M27 because that's the ACR of Black Ops 2. The laser of Black Ops 2. But then, again, you got the A94, which is the AK-47 of Black Ops 2. So it's kind of no one... People pick the A94 and the M27 over that. You never, you don't see many people using the Scar H. I really don't mind it much at all. Probably do prefer the M27 over it because, you know, you can't beat the laser. Can't beat the laser at all. A94, I know I've got the nuclear with it. I haven't got the nuclear with the M27, but... I don't know, just, I just can't, I'm not very consistent with it, I don't know what it is. But you know, the, the Scar H, talk about that, because you know, that's the gun we're going to talk about. So, oh, it's good, it's good, it's got very high recoil, but it's got, it's, I know this, it's a fact, I learned playing the game, it's got the, it's got the best damage, it's got the best 4 hit kill range, or 5 hit kill range anyway. But with the high recoil, you know, it's pretty hard to get those 4 or 5 shots on target. So, but... It really, I did not mind it. You chuck on your quick draw and probably quick draw on fast mags or the stock, even though I just said I don't like stalker and the, just the strafing in general. But stock goes well for it. You can move around a bit. Or just quick draw. <laughs> quick draw on fast mag or extend the mag. But extend the mag does take a while to reload with that big boy because the reload cancel thing, it doesn't qu work quite as well on Black Ops 2. I don't know what the story is. But, yeah, there's your attachments, your perks run. I'm a flak jacket man, always have been. You can run your... It's anything but Ghost, really, and I'm happy with you. If you're going to play Team Deathmatch, probably... You probably get away with Lightweight or Blind Eye if you want, or... But Domination, you know, objective game, you, you can chuck your flak jacket on, really. Sort of common sense there if you got, you know... Obviously do. So, second perk, I'm a scavenger... Oh, you know, I'm a scavenger man too. If you see my Black Ops 2 gameplay, that's basically what I use, scavenger. Fast hands, he goes around, whatever, toughness, toughness on that thing is not too shabby at all. But I can't use toughness because my sec my third perk are always dexterity and tactical mask because shock charge spam is is the way to go in Black Ops 2. It's like the mainstream thing to do. So you have to, you have to run tactical mask as well, but dexterity, dexterity 24-7. Just I think it's just my play style. I, I need to use dexterity all the time. But you can run tactical mask, engineer, third perk, whatever you want. It's always is whatever you want. Third perk, see? Yeah. That is the Scar H and the Scar L. That's that's the Scar in Call of Duty through the years. It's only been in three well, three games. It's actually a fair few games. I put it in. It's actually unique because it's in a Treyarch game and an Infinity Ward game. So yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. Now the next episode will be the st Spaz, the Spaz Twelve, which is as you guys know, if you're a long time subscriber of me, you'd know Spaz on Black Ops One. <laughs> me and that thing, <laughs> we go well together, and that's gonna. I'm excited to get that video because I love getting, I love using the spaz. So, and you see a gold one, <laughs> and actually M.3 I had it gold, but I don't. Anyway, guys, comment what gun you would like to see. I know people have asked me to do the dragon of. It's coming. Don't worry, it's just a pain in the ass to get dragon of gameplay, you know, because the dragon of it's you know, the dragon of just like it's the best gun in the game. Obviously, you guys. So yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe will be links on the screen for stuff and links in the description for more stuff. So, yeah, guys. Bye.